Hey there, Paper Crafters. Welcome back to Paper Crafters Corner. And for those of you who are brand new to our uh, YouTube channel uh, or our blog, if this is where you're seeing this video, welcome. And we're so glad that you got a chance to join us here. Uh, if you are watching us on YouTube and you're not familiar with the types of free resources that we provide for Paper Crafters, uh, please click over to www.papercrafterscorner.com Dot com and click on the About Us tab at the top of the page and you'll find a link uh, to pretty much every resource that we provide and some explanations about the different types of resources as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Today we are doing another unbiased product review and what that means is that either a manufacturer has provided us with a product that they are submitting for review or perhaps we found one and purchased it on our own or somebody's given it to us and we want to share it with you and really the goal is that we want to make sure you understand uh, what the product does um, if it lives up to the manufacturer's claims which sometimes they don't um, and we just want to make sure that you are uh, getting all the information that you can so that you are wisely spending your paper crafting dollars uh, and again, uh, this is an unbiased product review, and what that means is that we never accept uh, any payment for these, and there's no opportunity for these to be edited once they're done. So uh, if a manufacturer does provide us with a product, they're made aware of that before we start, and that way they know um, that whatever we find, good or bad, we're going to report on it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with today's product. So today's product is a product called the Hobby holster and it is a silicone product. Um, it is heat resistant up to 400 degrees and what you're going to notice about it is that it's got these two pockets and I'm going to angle this up just a little bit so you can see that. It's a two-sided pocket and you can use that for tools, you could use it for supplies, uh, whatever you know floats your boat I guess. Um, but primarily this was designed so that you could put tools in it that may be hot. So something like a glue gun uh, would be great in this. And you'll notice that there's a little cutout here for the uh, for a cord of a hot device. So we're going to go ahead and put it through its paces and uh, give you a little bit of information about the different ways that it can be used. And then we'll talk about uh, the different features of the product as well. So we're going to go ahead and hang it on this craft cube here. This is a craft cube from GoOrganize.com and we're just using this as a, uh, as a demo uh, piece so that we could get a nice angle on it uh, in, our, in our studio here. And uh, so what you're going to notice first again um, is that it is a silicone material so it's very flexible. Um, you could pack this down very easily into a crop bag if you're going to take it with you someplace or if you need to move it around. Um, and it's got um, actually measurements on both sides. So it's got inches on the right side, centimeters on the left side, um, and then it's got this divided pocket and again it's got a little cutout here uh, right on the end and that's great for um, a hot tool. So let's, uh, let's show you what that might look like. So here's just a standard glue gun um, that uh, most of us crafters have around and you can just slide it right down here in the pocket and it hangs out just perfectly. Put your extra glue sticks over on this side if you wanted to. But this could also work for any other tool that's not going to get any hotter than 400 degrees. So for instance, let's say that you uh, have a soldering iron or wood burning tool that you use um, or some type of a hot tool that you're using uh, to apply sequins or perhaps you do some kind of jewelry making and you have a hot tool that you use. Um, this would be perfect for that. Um, the, the great thing about it, again, as long as it's under 400 degrees, um, then it, you know, it's not going to melt it. So you can put, you know, you can put your hot glue gun right on here. You can lay it down on its side, and when the sides, this is pretty hot. I've had it plugged in for quite a while. When the sides are hot, you can lay it down there. It's not going to melt this uh, material here at all. Um, and the other thing to think about is, you know, as you're doing a lot of your craft projects and you keep moving your glue gun around, this one has some nice little feet, but some of the glue guns don't have those feet on the front. And when you set them down, basically your hot tip is right on your mat. So I'm going to show you on this one that if you do happen to get some glue here, we're just going to squirt some glue out here. 
you've got your glue out and now you've made this big mess on your mat um, and normally you know that might be a problem especially if you have a really nice expensive self-healing mat that you were working on or you perhaps even your work surface like your like your desk um, and so then you'd be worried about what am I going to do with this glue um, and the really great thing about this is you can wipe the glue back off you can slide this back into its little holder and as soon as this glue dries it, you can peel it right off of here so I'm going to let it dry for just a second it's, it takes a little bit in the, in the studio because we've got hot lights in here um, but as soon as this glue, glue dries you just peel it right up so the silicone is a great repellent for anything like that like a sticky material it, it'll just beat it up when it's hot like that and you can peel it off later um, it the thing to know about on the back is that you'll notice this is kind of shiny on the back here um, and you know very similar to like our mats for our uh, die cutting machines uh, if this gets coated with dust or dirt um, then it's not going to stick as well and all you do for this one is either use plain water just take it under the faucet and rinse it off. I've done that a couple times already while I was playing around with it. Um, or you can just take alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, and wipe it off. But you don't, want, you don't need to use soap on it. Just plain water works perfectly. And I, again, I've gotten it kind of dusty and then cleaned it off two or three times already, and it's worked great. Um, so now our glue is dried up, or it's uh, cooled down, I should say. And all you're going to do is just pull it off, just like this peels right off. So really great little tool to have. Um, if you've got kids and they do a lot of school projects, um, I think this would be a really great little handy device have, to have around. And you could have one for each kid. It can hang off the edge of the table. You can pull on it. They can bump on it. And you can see that it's really stuck to the surface. It's not going to come off. Um, you don't have to use um, suction cups or anything. It sticks very well all on its own. And when you're ready for it to come off, all you do is lift it and peel it up comes up that easy. Um, it is made to hold on a lot of different surfaces so any non-porous surface, uh, anything um, that doesn't have any kind of a texture, it'll hold very well. So I've tried it on a lot of surfaces um, around the craft studio and also around my house just to see, you know, is there anything that I couldn't get it to stick to. Um, and basically it'll stick to porcelain, so they have a couple other products that are made that you could um, put them on the sink or on the bathtub. Um, they've got different shapes to them and we'll provide a link to those in the blog post that accompanies this review. Uh, those would be good to use. Um, you can also put it up against plastic, uh, tile, wood, laminate, gra uh, granite, um, glass. So let me show you real quick. Um, I happen to have this um, acrylic frame. That's, this is a, just a frame I use for business. And you can just place it up against that and it works the same way on glass and it immediately sticks. You can see this is not going anywhere. I'm not holding on to it at all. Um, you just, you know, you can push on this, you can pull on this and it sticks very well. So it's not, you know, it'll, it'll pop up a little if you really tug on it, but you know, I'm not having any problem keeping it there. So, you know, one idea that I thought about is if you have a, a, a window uh, in your craft room and perhaps this is um, you've got two or three of these and you want to put some tools in them you could hang them on the window um, and then you know that way you're, you don't have that wasted space if you're limited on space where you can hang things and have tools handy that may be one option is maybe you want to hang this on the window get two or three of them and put different supplies in them so you could use it for things other than just you know a hot glue gun or, or tools that are hot you could use it for scissors so let's take our glue gun out and it's quite hot now um, you know you could certainly put in some scissors um, you could certainly put in pens and pencils you know hold any of your kinds of tools maybe you've got some little clippers or something um, so it will hold quite a bit and so I just wanted to show that there's lots of different options for how you're going to use this and again it peels right up and then sticks right back down and there's quite a bit of weight in here I mean I could put in you know several pairs of scissors I can keep adding weight to it um, and you know it's pretty impressive I mean it's not going anywhere 
Um, so very, you know, I think in terms of the claims that the manufacturer makes, I think it lives up to it uh, because it's definitely works on a, a big variety of surfaces. You can use it all around the home, not just in your craft room. It does have some measurements here, so if you're doing some measuring on your counter, um, you can use this uh, instead of having to drag a ruler out if you have short measurements. Um, also, uh, you know, again, I said there's lots of different hot tools that you could put in here. But another thing that you might want to try is perhaps you want to do um, some painting, right? So maybe you have some uh, brushes and you're going to be doing a bunch of painting and you want to uh, have your brushes at hand. Um, sorry for the noise there. Um, you could very easily, you know, put your paint brushes in here. You could probably even just put a little water on the other side if you just wanted, you know, a place where you could rinse them off really quickly and you could put them in here and let them dry. Um, and, you know, again, because this is silicone, you would just rinse this out, wash it out. It would wash out very easily. Um, and on the back, again, just plain water. If you did have something um, dirty in here, you probably want to use a little bit of soap inside here. Um, another really fun thing is that you could take this with you when you're traveling. So if you're going to be going, um, you know, to maybe you're going to be going... Uh, on a vacation and you want to do some art while you're gone, you know, this is a very easy way to hang your tools uh, right in front of where you're going to be working. You could even take a, an acrylic frame like this and have it with you and then hang this on there. Uh, that might be really a, a great thing to have along. Uh, the other thing that you can use it for uh, if you're going to be, you know, traveling is you could hang this up in the bathroom and put your cosmetics in or your toothbrushes, whatever it might be, to keep them off the counter. Um, and then finally, Put your M&Ms that you eat when you go cropping inside. Um, I thought those things, and that'd be kind of fun to put your put your snacks in here. Um, so again, lots of uh, different uses for this. And again, they do have some other products that are shaped a little bit differently. And I will link to those in the blog post so that if you're interested in something like this, you can see all the different types that are available. Um, we hope that uh, this has been helpful for you to, to see the different ways that it can be used. Um, this product comes in four different colors. Uh, it comes in this gray. It comes in this blue. And we are going to be giving one of these away. So if you're interested in winning one of these for your craft room, then you need to definitely go out and check the blog post that's associated with this review and get your name in there uh, to have a chance to win one of these. It also comes in a hot pink and a bright green. Um, and, and they have those on the website, and we'll provide a link to that as well. This retails for $19.99. And then the other products that they have, there's, uh, they're called Little Holsters, and there's a mini and a skinny, and they retail for $9.99, and they each come in seven colors. So um, in terms of this one, um, I chose the gray because I like a very neutral um, color palette, but if you've got you know pink or blue or green, in your craft room that you may want to opt for one of those. And the one we're going to be giving away again is this blue one right here. Um, the manufacturer was nice enough to send us an extra one so that uh, any one of you get a chance to win that. So hopefully you found that review helpful. Um, again, it is a silicone uh, container. It will hang on pretty much any non-porous surface. You can put any kinds of hot tools into it that are up to 400 degrees, no hotter. Um, use simple water or rubbing alcohol on the back to clean it. If it gets a little dusty or dirty and it's not sticking as well, go in and rinse it under the faucet real quick. And then if you're going to dry it off rather than let it air dry, um, I suggest using like a lint-free cloth. Um, I used some, a piece of paper towel, but it was a, they're a very low lint uh, paper towels. If you have paper towels that are real soft, you may not want to use that because you're going to be adding lint back to the back of it. Um, and again, it retails for $19.99, comes in four colors, and we will provide a lot more information and links to the manufacturer's website where you can purchase the product. We'll provide those in the blog. Uh, post that's associated with this review and you'll find that link right down there in the description and you'll also find um, a link to additional information uh, as well. Uh, and we want to just thank you very much for joining us today. Again, this is the Hobby Holster and it's by holsterbrands.com and um, we would love to hear your thoughts on it. So if you have other um, great ideas for ways to use this, please share them in the comments either here on the YouTube video 
or over on our blog. We'd love to hear uh, what your ideas might be. And if you have any questions or concerns about the product, um, please leave those as well. And if we don't know the answer, we'll contact the manufacturer and try to get an answer back for you. So thanks so much again for joining us today. And remember, Paper Crafters Corner is all about information, inspiration, and entertainment. And we have a wonderful welcoming uh, community there, and we'd love to have you come and join us. Thanks so much for joining us today. Happy paper crafting.